activation I've made a video on this topic so check the link down below. Aircraft detection. You need to activate AirSense. Go to settings, security, advanced security settings, activate air sense. It will detect any aircraft nearby or of the quad. Batteries, expensive but safe and efficient. No need to learn about LiPo's charging. Camera, what you see is what you get. You have the choice between four by three and 16 by nine ratio. The first goggles I've tested were analog. I did not enjoy them as I enjoyed those digital goggles. Electronic reporting. The drone plus the battery weigh 795 grams in Europe above 800 grams you need to report it electronically the only thing you can add without doing it are ND filters for example fuel ND filters weigh 3 grams electronic reporting is mandatory if you add propeller guards or arm bracers emergency stop button you are in a dangerous situation you press the start button then your drone hovers and switch automatically back to normal mode don't forget to keep your throttle axis in the middle. If you don't, your drone will go up or down. Find my drone. Go to settings, security, find my drone. And then you can see the last 30 seconds of your flight. Fly like a Mavic. You can fly it like a bad Mavic. It was designed to lose the horizon line, but it's not convenient to fly backwards as you're well, wearing the goggles. You cannot see what's behind. Goggles in pose. Return to home, vertical and horizontal distance, speed, remaining flight time, no need to check the voltage battery. Good FPV quad to start FPV. Yes, you can, as it has a lot of assistance, but fly in a simulator first, otherwise you will crash it. Normal and sport mode. I rarely use them. I take off in manual mode and land in normal mode. Post production. The recorded footage in your aircraft is already stabilized with Rocksteady 1. No need to buy an extra software. Audio and video transmission lost signal. Absorption. The signal is blocked by obstacles like mountains. Reflection. The signal will bounce on the mirror and go back the opposite way. Diffraction. The signal will be divided. For example, when the signal meets with buildings. Refraction. The signal changes direction the signal speed slows down for example when it encounters with trees and it's even worse if it has just rained attenuation the signal get lost the drone has not enough info to communicate with the remote controller this when the fcc hack is useful simulator i've never used the dji virtual fly app as it's only available on iphone on top of that i have purchased liftoff in the dji virtual fly app flight sensations the gravity is pretty bad so use liftoff the lossy drone and crashed i don't know all of them strength of the squad no need to think about which pieces you're supposed to buy no assembling no soldering no better flight tuning and configuration return to home function air sense carding you have two memory card slots one on the drone and one on the goggles it's useful for the find my drone options it allows me to visualize the last 30 seconds of my flight in case i lose it